All right, guys, just, uh, just a little bit of a how-to. When I'm putting together these buildings, they're not marked, so you have to form fit them. I know I keep saying that, but you do. You have to be really careful when you're doing this. Now, what I do is I form fit them, and they're a little difficult to put together, but there's, there's a little trick to it. What you want to do is... You want to form fit it, so you want to get a flat platform. You're going to put your base down first, and then you're going to put your three walls up. And why you want to do that is because of this. If you try to glue the single wall first, or maybe just the corner, it keeps falling in and out. So it'll fall out, or it'll fall in, and it, it just gets aggravating. But if you use, if you put the three walls together first so you use this side this side and you put it together and you hold it and then you add this side now you can actually squeeze the walls together and you just take a little a little bit of the super glue and you put it there and you just do the corners just a little bit you see where I got it and you, and you squeeze so you get a nice firm solid melt line so once that's together, then you can add more to the sides here, 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 here. I use this instant uh, set to actually just spray it and make it really quick. So I'm not fooling around with it all the time. So now what I end up doing is now I use that and it goes together perfectly. And I do the same thing. I squeeze it. I have more of a solid base because it's glued together and now what I'm doing is I'm finishing up gluing the area down simple as that okay so now that's in there I push it together and we're good to go now you can you can leave it like that and leave it for a few minutes and it'll be fine Or you can use the instant set, making sure that the whole thing is bound pretty well. And then you just do the instant set. And all you have to do is just a few spots. It's going to run down right into the seams, and it's going to solidify your stuff. And you're good to go. And that is basically how you do it. I hope that helps you. I know it's simple, real quick, but, and then it's just putting, putting the rest of your little things together, and you're good to go. And it's the same way here. I'm going to put my roof together here, and what I'm going to do is well, make sure I have the right ones. I know I do because I already did it, but I just want to show you. So I do that, right? And now I'm going to put this one on as well. Flip it up so it fits right. Got that roof there, that roof there, and there you go. Now I just firmly hold it together. And I'm gluing my roof together. Just like that. It's all it's good. So now I'm gonna spray it and I'm good. And that's gonna hold it. I'm not going to put it on the roof yet. I'm going to wait a few minutes, a uh, few seconds, yeah, maybe a minute to make sure it's nice and dry so it doesn't lock in. Now, if you wanted to, you can actually make walls where this is just a barn. I'm not going to make the walls. I'm not, I could make a second floor if I want, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to make like the dividing walls I normally do. All right, so.
This is the barn cattle shed of Hugomont, Waterloo, 1815. And that's what she's going to look like. That's a quick build right there. See that? Nice. This looks good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And that's it. Simple as that, guys. You know? Lovely. All right. Peace. Have a good one. Hugo Mott, Pot 2017.